my YouTube channel. My name is Marissa Sophia and today I am extremely excited to show you my highlighting system that I utilize for my personal Bible studies. A highlighting system is used in Bible studies in order to deepen your understanding on a certain chapter or verse. The overall goal is just to help you to understand and retain the information that God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is teaching you. So without further ado, let's get into the fun stuff. So the Bible that I have here is the New Living Translation Tyndale Girls Life Application Bible. This is my first Bible that I've ever received in my life. My sister gifted it to me and it has been such a help as I walk along in my faith with Jesus Christ. Placed inside of its front cover, I created a color key. The color key is a list of highlighter colors and what they represent. So as you select the certain colors that you want, um, you should in fact put them on something like an index card, which is exactly what this is. Um, and alongside of each color, you want to put what the color means. So for orange, I have message of the passage. This really helps me to understand the summary of what the passage is about. Next to that, I have yellow, and this is words to look up. So definitions that are just gonna give me more context on the chapter and things of that sort. For green, I utilize the green highlighter as prayer points. So after I finish reading a chapter or a verse, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look at everything that I highlighted in green, and I'm going to pray about it to the Lord. Then there is blue, purple, and red. Blue means, what does God act like in this chapter or in this verse? What does he portray? What does he show you about his mighty power? I think it's really important that as we read the Bible, we understand that it's mainly about God. It's mainly about his glory, and it's less so about us and how we can help ourselves. And purple allows me to understand what God wants me to do. And then the red highlighter, of course, is tactics of the enemy, also known as Satan. These are things that I want to not do in life. These are things that I think makes us enemies to God. When you are finding your highlighter colors, it does not have to be this complicated. Um, I know this could seem overwhelming to some individuals and we all learn differently. We all kind of process different colors differently. So please select however many you'd like and please select um, each color according to what works for you and your mind and your learning language. I enjoy using the Mr. Pen highlighters. They are very, very much so smooth. They're vibrant um, and they also do not bleed through pages, which is very nice. So you can find these on Amazon. Again, these are the Mr. Pen highlighters. This video is not sponsored. So today I am going to read through Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 through 9. The first verse reads, So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. The second verse reads, On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all of his work. This second verse really sticks out the characteristics of God and how he stresses the importance of rest. So because it stresses the attributes of God, I'm going to take that blue highlighter, which represents characteristics and attributes of God, and I'm going to highlight the second verse. The third verse reads, And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. Now let's say you have a verse that specifically highlights the attributes of God and it's something that we should pull from and we should take away from and implement ourselves. In that case, remembering that the color purple means something that I should do, I'm also going to utilize this highlighter as a means to highlight this same section. So now when I look back at these colors, I understand that this is something God did, and this is also something that I should do. Verse 4 reads, This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. Verse 5 reads, When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, neither wild plants nor grains were growing on the earth. For the Lord God had not yet set rain to water the earth, and there were no people to cultivate the soil. 
verse 6 reads, Instead, springs came up from the ground and watered all the land. Verse 7 reads, Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. So this one also sticks out as an attribute of God. It shows that God created man out of nothing. How amazing. But this also sticks out to me and summarizes the importance and the creation of man. So because this is chapter two, how man and woman were created, I also want to highlight the summary of chapter two, which is something that I can co come back to and I can say, this was the main point within this um, chapter. Now, because this can also be an attribute of God and how he can create living things out of nothing, I'm also going to highlight on the side of that the color blue because it represents God's attributes. Please use your best judgment and take time learning about what the different colors mean. At first, you're really going to need that color key, which is why I highly suggest that you put it on the front of your Bible so you can easily very much so go back to it. And then over time, you're gonna find that you don't really need the color key because you're going to memorize what each color means. Verse eight reads, then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he placed the man he had made. Nine reads, the Lord God made all sorts of trees grow up from the ground, trees that were beautiful and that produced delicious fruit. In the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Garden of Eden is also important because it also showcases and will showcase over time where the fall of man first happened. So because this is incredibly important and this kind of summarizes also the foreshadowing of that event, I'm also going to utilize the orange highlighter. Because God also did this, I am going to use that highlighter, you guessed it, the color blue. Now in this chapter, there really aren't things that we should look out for on what not to do. There's really no form of the enemy in this certain chapter just yet, based off of these first nine verses of chapter two. So we're not going to use red. So the first two verses describes the importance of the heavens and earth being created and on the seventh day, God had finished the work of his creation, so he rested. This is stressing the importance of the Sabbath day, so I am, in fact, going to utilize this highlighter next to the color purple as a way to showcase my importance of praying later on about the Sabbath day and about how God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. Now, for verse number seven, then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils and the man became a living person. I am so going to highlight this green because I'm just so glad that the Lord God decided to breathe his breath of life into me, to create me and to make me who I am today. So this is going to be a very big prayer point and I totally am going to go back in and thank God for my life. And then for the last couple of verses, I'm going to highlight this ending point because I want God to keep me from evil. The whole fall of man, as you go along and read Genesis, um, it happened because Eve ate the fruit out of the tree of knowledge. And I don't want to be disobedient. I don't want to make my bloodline fall. I don't want to make me fall. So I'm going to just highlight this green towards this section of the chapter. And I'm going to ask God to keep me from falling into temptation, sin, and evil. After you have highlighted uh, certain parts of your chapter, after you've reread it a couple of times, I then like to go back in and make notes either on my Bible or I like to make notes on a separate page, maybe within a notebook. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. This shows me that God is my creator. Verse 2 says, On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. So here we see the word creation multiple times, and we also see that he rested and blessed it on the seventh day. So I'm going to underline bless the seventh day. So he rested 
and I'm going to circle creation, work of creation. This section also shows me that I need rest on the seventh day. Implementing what God and what Jesus implemented is so important as Christians. So this is going to remind me to take a day of rest throughout my week. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils and the man became a living person. What really sticks out to me is that God formed the man from the dust of the ground and he breathed the breath of life into his nostrils and the man became a living person. This really showcases my gratitude towards the Lord creating me and breathing his holiness and righteousness into my life. And then in verse eight and in verse nine, I highlighted then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east and there he placed the man he had made. I am going to circle Eden. It is a very important word. This is a garden that we should be familiar with and maybe even one that I can do research on. So I am actually going to highlight that, um, that word Eden in the color yellow as well so that I can go back and do some deeper studying on it. And in verse nine, it says, in the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I might even want to do some research on the tree of life and of good and evil. I might want to go back and cross-reference the fall of man, so I am going to put the fall of man next to that highlighted section. I also am very much so interested in the tree of life, so I am also going to do research on the tree of life, and of course I am going to highlight each part of these circled words. So this is how I implement my highlighted Bible system. I also really enjoy, um, you know, jotting down little drawings and things like that that will make me uh, draw my attention back into this chapter. Um, so I am just going to draw a little bit um, up top in this top margin um, so that I can come back and read all of these little notes. So something that really stuck out to me was the breath of life. God gave me the breath of life. God gave you the breath of life. So I'm going to put that right up here because that is what resonated with me most. So I like to use the Hello Hobby drawing pens uh, when I draw my drawings in my Bible. Um, I like to use them as an outline and then I like to use the Mr. Pen highlighters we were just using earlier on as a means to kind of create color within the outline of the drawing. And then sometimes I will also go in with just right quick ink pens um, from uh, Dollar Tree. These are two separate pens, the Clip Quick Ink and the Just Right pens. Um, these are again all from Dollar Tree, so I like to either buy my, you know, stationary items from Amazon, Dollar Tree, or Walmart. So that is all today for my Bible study highlighting system video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I use a, a lot of colors. I use a lot of sticky notes as well. Um, although I didn't use sticky notes today, I do encourage you to sticky note some things, write some things that stick out to you on there as well, um, and just overall gain a feel of what your Bible studying language is as well. A lot of us like to, you know, pull away from the Bible in different ways. Please utilize whatever strategy is going to help you to retain God's words as best as possible. I'm really grateful that you took the time to watch this video and I would really enjoy if you could give me a like, a positive comment, and if you could subscribe and toggle on that notification bell so you can see future content that I post, of course, in the near future. Also, be sure to follow me down below in all of my social media platforms. They are posted in the description and I will also be posting some of the tools that I utilize in this video so that you, in fact, can purchase them as well. My name is Marissa Sophia. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Adios.